This is the future. So let's talk about Overguard Rhino and why I think it's better compared to the 1 million or more iron skin build that we are using in the past. Just to make it clear, Overguard has virtually the same function that gives health buffs and immunities for Rhino's Iron Skin, Atlas Rumble Augment mod, and Frost Icy Avalanche Augment mod. Digital extremes are like just saying that they have replaced the term armor in these augments and ability, and call it now Overguard. The base defensive properties of these abilities and augment mods have not changed however, from now on, this change has the added benefit of allowing on damaged mods and arcanes to apply to all of the above. Before this change, the aforementioned abilities would make the player invulnerable until the added survivability was depleted. Mods and arcanes like Adaptation and Arcane Avenger can now be triggered when damage is taken to Overguard because it is treated similarly to health and shields. With Rhino, it's very good since mods like Arcane Guardian right now procs while the Iron Skin ability is active. This means that 900 armor will be available always to somehow boost the number of Overguard you earn with Rhino. If there's one thing I don't get though, is when Digital Extremes said that adaptation can now be triggered while Overguard is active but, it seems like that's the only thing that it can do at the moment. It can trigger damage resistance, but I don't see it applying to the Overguard of the Rhino's Iron Skin. When you have adaptation in your build, all it does is provide you with damage resistance to a specific damage type right after your Overguard is depleted. It does apply to the shield so it's still a good thing though as even with low shield values in your rhino, you can still have another source of survivability before shield gating hits, and then the adaptation applies to your health. Nothing changed in terms of survivability except for the fact that you can now proc arcane guardian and arcane avenger in an overguard rhino. Also now, you feel so anxious while enemies are depleting your overguard since you can accurately see how much iron skin you have. Just saying but then again, this is how the ability works in the past but you can't see the exact values since it gives you rounded off numbers like a million iron skin. But anyway, despite the same survivability and the iron skin works like just in the past, scaling with armor and power strength to help gain more overguard, I still like the way Rhino can be played right now since giving more critical chance. Or should I say, adding a flat critical chance to Rhino with Arcane Avenger is a huge boost on his offensive side. For this case, I trimmed some defense to somehow boost the damage of Rhino. How do you do this? Okay, let me explain. Roar is significantly good in boosting damage both Warframe abilities and weapons but, there's a very special synergy with Critical Chance that I love using with Rhino's Roar. It's really nothing new, and most of the players know about how stupid slash based weapons with a faction mod, while using Rhino's Roar. Not just slash and bleed combos but also other status damage over time such as gas can be insane with the rhino's roar as it seems the damage double dips when you use the ability with this kind of status setup. For slash based combos, you can further increase this by equipping arcane avenger in your build now. Critical hits do boost the slash procs, allowing you to deal more bleed ticks to the enemies. As much as I want to do a million overguard rhinos right now, which is easy by taking out Arcane Avenger, adding Arcane Tanker, then subsuming Parasitic Armor and replacing Adaptation with Shield Mod. I will not do that anymore since it's more fun to have a balanced build for this Warframe right now. Also, I just don't like to put a Helminth build right now since doing Parasitic Armor means a lot of work, and I just want to chill and get the armor as fast as I could. And by the way, Adaptation mod is not necessary for this Rhino build since it's triggered when you are hit while having an Overguard, but it doesn't help reduce the damage taken in your Overguard. Just like I have said, the damage resistance applies after Overguard and it only triggers, and help you stack the damage resistance to 90%. In addition to this weak ass build, you can actually add more armor to strengthen the Overguard with the help of his Urajan shards, preferably. The Tau forged version for the huge armor increase, now, you might get worried about this build having minimal energy but actually, this doesn't bother me since I got a way to restore my energy fast with the help of the emergence dissipate arcane from my operator. Also, I added Magus Anomaly to somehow group enemies and get more energy from the emergence dissipate, as well as easy targeting them, and getting lots of armor bonus percentage from my ironclad charge. If there's one thing I hate about this build, is I have to put Iron Shrapnel in this so I can recast Iron Skin. This has been a long requested feature and I hope Digital Extremes will finally grant it this year. 
Most of the defensibilities of Warframes are recastable with just a tap of the button without any need for augments, and I think it's now time to rework the Iron Shrapnel augment and just make the recastable feature of Iron Skin built in. If that happens, then we can put more armor in this build. After using Rhino for years, and being my favorite Warframe that helped me during my newbie years in terms of progression, I can say that this is by far the most fun build I have for this Warframe, I know that adding the Overguard doesn't make any important change to the Warframe, but the addition of on damage conditions being able to work with Overguard is just a very simple add-on to the Warframe, but actually a big changing feature for me as one who enjoys using Raw with Rhino, and not just focusing on pure defensive Warframe. The balance gameplay of both offense and defense is more appealing to me than earning 1 million armor right now, and I hope that you try out this Warframe too and enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. Squad leader signing off.